Tech Pick of the Week. Let's get right into it. This is actually the photo, I guess, photo album? Photo yes, summary? there's a bunch of pictures here. This is the top <laughs> of my house, as it is on Google of Maps. Of your solar installation. The little red squares represent the places where the solar panels are going. I have both a west-facing and a south-facing uh, roof. So if we move on to the next one... Um, one of the advantages, of course, of solar is that I use less electricity, and therefore the power company doesn't burn a lot of natural gas, and I get to offset some greenhouse gas. It doesn't help me very much financially, but it makes me feel good. Now, is that based, are the numbers right there just based on, on your on, on, on my your particular setup? That's right, on my oh, estimated nice. setup. Um, and this is, a, this is an emergency cutoff switch. They have to install this for the power company. If there is a problem like a fire or something like that, the fire department needs to be able to uh, switch it off. The problem is they put this right in the front of my house when they uninstall it. You know, I might as well just put a big arrow saying, pull this switch for anybody walking by. <laughs> so we had to do some things to move it around to the side of the house, and we're cutting the fence post down and rerouting a uh, downspout. So that's where it's going to be on the side of the house, which is not quite so visible. So the reason it has kids. to be near the front is a power company requirement because we have two little dogs, and if you have dogs, you have to put the power cutoff switch where it can be reached from outside the fence. Gotcha. One of those nice little things. Got to keep the dogs away from the employees. Right. And then, of course, the other little glitches, they sent us the wrong panels, but this is a sticker of the right panel. This is a SunPower 225-watt uh, panels that we're getting, 27 of these babies for wow. a total of 6.1 kilowatts. Um, the, uh, this is the block diagram of the entire setup. The panels go through, provide DC power from the sun and then go through an inverter, which converts it to AC power, which then gets fed into the load box, that is the, your circuit breaker box for the system. And, and then, of course, you have to get power from the grid. Now, one of the interesting things people ask me is, oh, that means, you know, if the power from the grid goes down like a transformer blows up, you still have power, right, on a sunny day? And I said, no, because they automatically shut it off if the grid goes down because they don't want you feeding your power into a grid where they don't know what's happening. So, you know, you could, you could electrocute some poor guy trying to work on a transformer somewhere or something. Oh, so in the event of a power outage, it, it just shuts off completely. That's right. Okay. That's right. I did not know that. Now, here's the roof before anything was installed. And let's go to the one where we start to stop, do stuff. This is one of the little standoffs for the racks. This is mounted into this roof uh, f under f with flashing underneath. It's watertight, weathertight, all that good stuff. This is what a row looks like before you put the racks on. Then we have the racks. Now these racks are, since I have a, like a two-and-a-half-story house, you can't actually see these from the street at all. Uh, so it's, it's pretty invisible. Nice. So you get the benefits of solar without really being That's an eyesore right. in any kind That's of way. That's right. Nice. And then this is the inside of the inverter. And if those look like a lot of really big capacitors near the top, that's because they are. Uh, this is actually a pretty efficient inverter, though. The entire, the, the solar power array itself is 18% efficient. And then you lose a little bit of efficiency going through the uh, inverter and all that stuff. By the time it gets into my house, my 6.1 kilowatts is more effective, like 5.5. Still pretty good, but yep. a little bit of loss. Yep. And this is what the inverter looks like. You can see the load box next to it. And the inverter is the big box on the left. You can get an idea for the size of it. You can see the analog power uh, meter that the power company currently uses. Has it, have you actually seen it spin backwards yet? I'll tell you that oh. in a minute. Oh, oh. And then this is, the, this is them when they're starting to wire up. the. Uh, they added a pair of 20-amp uh, circuit breakers to my load box. And then they had to wire all that stuff in. And, of course, they had to connect up the, the, the wiring. There's a lot of wiring, obviously. And, of course, they had certified electricians. It's all bonded and licensed. Now, here we are wiring in the uh, inverter into the load box. And here's the power meter. Again, I'll get to the little bit about spinning <laughs> back. You see the little dial in the center? That's the thing that goes forward or backwards. So it normally goes, rotates to the right as you consume power from the grid. Counterclockwise if you're looking down at so. it. And then this is this typical wiring you have on the ceiling, on the roof, I mean. Of course, there's the rack. you can see the rack and all the wires that need to be hooked up. There's also copper ground wire that goes down to ground as well, so you know you don't have issues with uh, electric people getting electrocuted or losing power just... That's cool. So really, aside from the racks, all the wiring is concealed within the racks itself, and then the one yes. that's a conduit and then, goes out. then you have conduits that come out and run along the roof okay. and then down to the, to the ground. Tidy looking. And this is a sun-powered 225-watt solar panel. This is, these are the panels that are going to go up in my house. Because you can see the guy standing next to you, you get an idea for how big it is. It's a decent-sized panel. Yep, and they, they're starting to lay them into the racks here. They've got... Uh, um, this is the south-facing roof. This is going to have nine panels all together. And then you, this is the west-facing roof, which will have 18 panels, two rows of nine that they're putting in here. And then this is sort of the way it looks. You can see the nine-panel rack. This is from the top of the roof, uh, just above the 18-panel uh, rack. So you can see how it can look from there. And that's the solar panel installation. Now, you asked me if the, if the meter spun backwards. Well, we fired it up temporarily. We couldn't fire it up for very long because oh. the inspection, final inspection isn't until tomorrow, actually. Uh, but they did fire it up to test it up, and I did watch the dial stop and then start to go the other direction. It was really sweet to watch. It was 
uh, it was a semi cloudy day, partly cloudy day with a few clouds in the sky, kind of semi dark really for uh, a sunny day in California. But I was, I was, the system was generating just under five kilowatts at that point. Is that enough to drive the entire household oh. as it stands right now? What oh, about yeah. a family of four, a large, largest yeah, pretty, house? I mean, consider the fact that my wife and I both work at home most of the time. And even then, though, we, I had like three computers on in my office at that point in time. My wife had her computer on. We didn't have the home theater system on, but everything, you know, and we didn't have a lot of lights on, but the meter was spinning backwards. That is awesome, like, especially coming up with the summertime. You can right. not only have the electrical need supplied by solar right. power, but... In, in fact, that's the way it works. So, so, PG, <laughs> so we sell power back to the grid, and then we, can, we buy power at night or during the wintertime when it's really cloudy, and that's how it all evens out in the end. Sounds pretty good. I, yeah, so. Congratulations. Yep. That looks like a cool project, and I'm, uh, mm-hmm. I'm glad you were able to share that with us. Right, and we have some advantages here in California because there's a California rebate program, so we got a, we got like a, almost 20% of it back. Is that still going on, or yes. is that ending soon? The, no, it, it decreases over time, but it still goes on for another couple of years. So if people are interested in it, now is, is there time. information in the article that's on Extreme Tech right now that we talk, what we, we talk about the costs and stuff like that, but uh, you can, I'm not sure, but you, any of your solar power providers in California will tell you what the rebate structure is. Okay, good deal. Awesome, awesome. Nice. And please, if you have your cool tech pick to show off, be it a cool solar installation or something local to where you live, do send it to us. We do like to see these things. Please email us at dl.tv at ziffdavis.com with the word show notes, or the words show notes, oh, show notes. <laughs> with, <laughs> ah, I'm recovering from a cold. Please forgive me. With Robert. the word tech pick in the, sh- in the subject line so we know what to look for as we look through our email. Awesome, awesome.